Let me show you a couple of things. A couple of fixes, a couple of hacks, a couple of how it worked type things. I've got some emails and comments. Uh, the second thing I'm going to show you is the most important thing, but I just wanted to mention this. If you start this up, probably not going to ever happen your first time, or maybe it'll happen to you some other way. You give it the gas pedal, you hit the gas, don't go forward, don't go reverse, but the engine's running. This hydrostatic clip right here is not engaged. Now, do you see that? Can you see that? It's, it looks like a piece of wire. It's got a loop here at the end. All right, it needs to be in, all the way in, and that's just real loose now. That's engaged. Um, it'll run right now, but if you have to uh, load it on a trailer, push it out of your yard, move it somewhere without power, if that's engaged, it's very difficult to move. Now, if you want to push it, you simply grab this deal and you pull it out fully like that. That's in, that's out. Now, look at that. That, that engages and disengages the hydrostatic drive. Now you can push it easily. If you've got that pulled out, you can see the big loop there. That means it's out. But if you put the gas pedal on now, it ain't going to go nowhere because this is disengaged. So if you hit the gas and it doesn't go, this is disengaged, like in this position all the way out. And then, of course, there's really no reason unless you need to push it somewhere to re-engage it. You just lift it up and push it in. And now it's engaged. As you can see, it's tough to move. And that's the drive position in. So now if you hit the gas pedal, it'll go. So that's a way to get this disengaged where you can push it should you need to. Okay, let's assume that it won't start. Well, you know the battery's good. You know the spark plug back here. Is plugged in it's got gas battery everything's fine but it won't start this is a safety switch right here it's got to be depressed which means you've got to be seated if that's not fully depressed this thing won't start but the biggest issue people have by far and I've got questions and emails that's why I made this video Everything seems to be right, but it won't start. Well, you've got a side, that right there, side discharge chute. This is a mulching chute. And then if you've bought the optional bagger accessory, it'll come back through here. If you have just changed this from mulching to side discharge or whatever, that could be a problem. Or if one of these wing nuts right here, works its way loose just a little bit doesn't take much or maybe you get a lot of grass build up under here or maybe this even works a little bit right back here behind this piece right here right back there is another one of those little push switches like under the seat this has to be fully engaged all the way forward pushing this switch in and these tightened up. If it's got gunk in the way, if it's bowed, if it's not seated right, this will never start. So take that off, make sure it's engaged. You'll see the little push switch. It looks just like the one under the seat. Make sure that's pushed in fully, fully seated with whatever attachment you have on the side. Nine times out of 10, that is people's problem. And one last thing here, this is your spark plug wire. It goes in there pretty far. Just make sure that's pushed in firmly. Sometimes, for some reason, this could be pulled out a little bit. You know, that could be a culprit, but this is, this is really shooting at nothing now. You're getting deep into it. But sometimes a kid will play with this, or a dog, or whatever reason. Just make sure that's fully pushed in. Give it some juice. Push it in. Don't be afraid to. But like I said, that other thing is a problem. 99 times out of 100, 
when it won't start and you know the battery's good. Of course, if you don't know the battery's good, you might want to check that first. But it's easier to make sure that's correct. First and foremost, do that. Make sure this is not sticking. Just push it down with your finger. That's the same button that you're going to see down there, by the way. It's not sticking. So, do that. Make sure this is not sticking. And then you can worry about your gas. Your, uh, and make sure you've got gas. And then you can worry about your battery. But like I said, it's that over there is most of the things. Alright, guys and gals, that's all i got for you today. Please share and subscribe. Journey well.